Hello everyone. In this video, we will delve into the fascinating world of the Rutherford experiment and explore how it was conducted. Before we begin, let's familiarize ourselves with its apparatus. In this experiment, a thin gold foil with a thickness of 100 nanometers is carefully positioned within a photographic plate. Additionally, you'll notice the presence of a lead shield and an alpha particle source emitter. In our case, we employ a radioactive material, radium, as the source of alpha particles. Within the lead shield, there is a narrow cut designed to allow a focused beam of alpha particles to pass through. Now, let's grasp the mechanics of this experiment. Alpha particles are emitted from the alpha particle source emitter, traverse the lead shield, and collide with the gold foil. Upon interacting with the gold foil, the alpha particles undergo scattering, and the resulting pattern can be observed on our photographic plate. Now, you might wonder, what insights can we gain from this experiment? Rutherford keenly observed that the majority of alpha particles, nearly 99%, pass through the gold foil with minimal deviation. However, some alpha particles experienced slight deflections from their original path, while others executed a complete 180-degree turn. This observation led him to the profound conclusion that most of the space within an atom is, in fact, empty. This explains why the vast majority of alpha particles pass through the foil unscathed. It's important to note that alpha particles are positively charged, and they deflect only when encountering other positively charged particles at the atom center. The repulsion between positive charges is the key factor at play here. However, these positively charged particles at the atom center must be exceedingly small, as most alpha particles simply pass through without deviation. Now, you may wonder why Rutherford specifically chose gold for this experiment instead of other metals. The choice of gold is strategic due to its high atomic number. Gold possesses a substantial number of protons and neutrons within its nucleus, contributing to the experiment's success. We hope you found this video enlightening and informative. If you have any questions or doubts, please don't hesitate to leave a comment. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Thank you for watching, and we wish you a fantastic day ahead.